Hi, welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Brennan. If you've been following along with us, you'll know that we are in our skirt series using quilting fabric to make garments. In this video, we're going to sew the side seams of the A-line skirt that we've been working on together using a French seam. So if you haven't already, make sure you head over to shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com, get your pattern so you can follow along with us. Now, a French seam, if you haven't done it before, might sound really intimidating, but I promise you it's not. It's very, very simple to do. You can do it on your home sewing machine. You don't have any special stitches you need to do, um, but it's a, it's a very strong, very clean looking seam that, it give your, that will give your skirt a nice professional look on your home sewing machine. All right, so let's get started. All right, so what you'll need to do the French seam is you'll need to your completed front panel of your skirt and your completed back panel of your skirt. So you'll have your waistbands already attached. We did that in the previous video. One tricky thing to keep in mind with this part is these gathers here on the back waistband. You just wanna kind of pull those out of the way because we don't wanna lose those gathers when we're stitching it. So what we're gonna do, and this part is very counterintuitive to, to a lot of folks, is we're gonna take the wrong sides of the skirt and put them together. So there are two steps to the French seam. The first, the first step is we're going to sew the wrong sides of our skirt panels together. So it looks gonna, you're gonna look at it as you're sewing it. It's gonna look like it is uh, right side out and that, that's what we want, that's good. So just sew a straight seam all the way down, matching the curve of the hip. So I'm just sewing down the waistband. Then once I get past it, I'm gonna pivot a little bit and just keep going down, sewing, sewing out a quarter of an inch. Every so often you might need to stop and just readjust, make sure you keep your, your raw edges together for the front and the back of your skirt. All right, now that I've got that side done, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing first with the elastic waistband. I'm just gonna put my fingers here on the end kind of pull the gathers towards the center. See, one of the biggest rookie mistakes that somebody could make, which actually I did, this is take two of this part because I made the biggest rookie mistake, is to sew the right sides together first, which that's what we wanna do because that's what we're used to doing. So really make sure that you're sewing the wrong sides together, keeping those raw edges lined up. And now a quarter of an inch down the other side. Once you get past the waistband, just give it a little pivot and keep going. All right, so what I just did there, you'll wanna do every so often, just make sure that there's no fabric under, like you make sure that your skirt isn't folded under like, like this. You don't wanna sew extra fabric in your seam. You want it to just be your side seams. All right, and hold on to the fabric with your finger for as long as you can until you get to that hem. All right, step one is done. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to trim our quarter inch seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch. So that way we're gonna take, we're gonna get rid of any fraying like you can see some here. It's also going to make it a little bit smaller to make sure that we really enclose that in the little tube that we're gonna make for the French seam. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm lining up that eighth of an inch mark along the bottom part of the skirt. I specify the bottom part because we, we do have that curve up, up at the top. So it is gonna go off a little bit but that's okay, we'll address that here in a second. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the skirt. Now for the curved part of the skirt, we can't use the straight ruler for that, but what I am going to use is I'm going to use the seam gauge because this gap in the seam gauge is an eighth of an inch. So I'm just gonna line up the raw edge with, with the top edge of the gap. I'm gonna mark it with the friction gel pen so I know where to cut. Thank you. 
It doesn't need to be a, a, con a full line or a full curve here. I'm just going every, every inch or so, inch, inch and a half, and putting a little dash. And then I'm gonna go through with the scissors and trim that off. And make sure you don't forget to trim the waistband too. Really take your time on this step because it's, this part is a little bit forgiving because this seam is going to be enclosed in, step, in the next step of the French seam, but we don't wanna to cut too much off because we don't wanna lose the seam we already had. So take your time. If you wanna use a rotary cutter for this step, go for it. All right, and as you can see here, there's really not a whole lot we're cutting off. So just be careful, take your time, and now the other side. All right, now that we have all those, all the, uh, the seams trimmed, what we're gonna do is press it. I like to press it from the outside first to one side, and then we're gonna flip it inside out, and we're gonna press it from the inside. All right, so what I did here was I actually wrapped my skirt around the wool mat. So the underside of the skirt is underneath here. Uh, so if, on your ironing board at home, or if you have a, a wool mat like this, do the same thing. So you're not pressing creases where we don't want them. It doesn't really matter which way you press the, the French seam, just pick a direction and press it. Around this hip curve, you can, if you have your, your tailor's ham handy, go ahead and use that. Or you can also just kind of use your fingers, make sure to pull the fabric apart. You can also kind of pull it up a little bit since we're pressing a three-dimensional shape here. I'm going to go ahead and press the other side now. All right, now I'm going to flip it inside out and press it again. For this step, you don't need to wrap it around your ironing board or your wool mat. What you do want to do, though, is make sure that this seam is very much on the, on the outside of that line. I'm going to go ahead and get my spray mister. Give it a spritz and go over it one more time. Now, if you watched the previous video where we had the, the free skirt pattern uh, for the, the pull-on skirt, which that pattern is available at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com, you'll know that this is a step that you really don't want to skimp on. Um, I have tried skipping out on pressing these French seams and I paid for it later. So make sure that this line is nice and crisp and it looks exactly how you, how you want it to look so that when you're ready to sew, you can just sew it. And we're gonna do the other side. And same thing, just take a minute and make sure that that seam is completely on the outside of this fold. This is what's going to end up being the outside of the French seam. So we want it to look nice and crisp. And again, let's get that spray mister. Now, one thing that you'll find when, as you're pressing and then in the next step as we sew it, there is gonna be a little bit of bulk here on the, on the waistband. It shouldn't be so much that it's uncomfortable, um, but it is gonna be there. So just, just know that you're not doing anything wrong if you find it. All right, and now that we have trimmed and pressed, we're gonna go ahead and sew that next part of the French seam. Now this one, it is at 3 8 of, of an inch seam allowance, so that our finished seam allowance along the side seam is gonna be 5 8 Now I did back stitch at the beginning because this is gonna be a very high stress area of your skirt. So you wanna make sure that's gonna be nice and strong. You guessed it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now because of the bulk with the elastic on here, depending on your machine, you might want to start a little bit inside the waistband. Um, now, not a whole lot. This waistband is only an, an inch thick or so, but maybe a quarter of an inch or so. But again, just make sure that, take a couple stitches, back stitch up to the top, and then keep going. All right, now that your French seams are done, I'm just gonna go through and trim any excess threads that I have. So the outside of your skirt is almost done at this point. This is actually a very good time to do a fit check. If you wanted to make sure it's fitting around your waist the way that you want it to fit. 
make sure that it is at least going a little bit past where you want the hem to be because we are going to hem that up in the next video and just see how things are looking. All right, our French seams are done. As you can see, we have no raw edges. Everything looks nice and clean and professional. And we have a very, very strong seam now that's gonna be, that's gonna last you a nice long time. All right, thank you so much. That's it for this video. We did really nice French seams along the sides of our skirt. Make sure you go to shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com, pick up your pattern. Also make sure to grab that free one of the pull-on skirt that we did in the last segment. What's, what's coming up next is we are actually going to attach the lining to our skirt and then we're all, and then we're going to, to hem it and we're gonna be done. All right, so thank you so much for joining and happy quilting and happy garment sewing. Mm -hmm.